it's Annalise. Um, thanks for clicking on another video. Um, I think it's been about two weeks since the last one, which is not the best turnaround time, but uh, I've just been really busy, like work and then lots of um, like fun activities going on outside of it. So hopefully uh, that does make this a somewhat interesting video. Um, but I think uh, the, the place I left off at was, um, uh, went to an escape room, uh, pretty much immediately after I filmed the last video. So that was fun. It was like a Sherlock Holmes one, um, like right in city center Dublin. It was really cool. Uh, we felt like we didn't do that great because it took us like 50 minutes out of the hour and we needed three hints. But then, um, the woman said, usually people need six or seven hints and take the full time if they get it at all. So she may very well have been lying to us, but it made us feel a little bit better um, about the, the time it took us to do it. But it was very fun. Uh, I'm a huge mystery fan. I mean, I've read ever Sherlock Holmes, every like Agatha Christie. So it was very fun to put it in practice a little bit. Um, and the day after that, uh, I went to the Hugh Lane Gallery, which is like an abstract art um, museum uh, in Dublin. Not just abstract art, but that was mainly what it was. And I'm not the biggest fan of abstract art, so it wasn't like my favorite um, art museum I've ever been to, but there were some neat pieces. Uh, there were some Monet's. Um, so, and it was cool, even if abstract art isn't what I would like spend my own money on to buy. It's kind of fun to look at um, in a gallery, especially a free one like that one. So uh, that was cool. And day after that, um, Luce and I went to the Hill of Terra, which is uh, this like ancient site um, in Meath, uh, so pretty close to us, um, that uh, like was the site of a lot of ancient Irish kings, like where they would be crowned and where there would be competitions to see who could be the next king of this area. Because it was a very small region to be king of, but very um, prosperous, just like great farmland. And so the king there was very powerful. Um, and there are burial sites there that are like 5,000 years old. Um, just lots of cool archaeology. One funny story we learned there um, about, I guess, slightly too optimistic archaeology was uh, back in 1900, a group of British Israelites um, decided that uh, in their reading of the Bible, the Ark of the Covenant was buried at the Hill of Tara. And so they went and persuaded like the farmer who owned the land at the time to let them dig there. And so there's this big site that um, archaeologists are very mad. It was kind of like ruined by these people digging, trying to find the Ark of the Covenant. Um, they were not successful, uh, stopped after a few years because of like public outcry about, you know, how the site was um, very meaningful and they were destroying it. Um, apparently they still try and contact the Office of Public Works that now owns the land, uh, asking if they can come back and dig in like a slightly different place. So they've realized that's where it's actually buried, not where they were digging before. So, um, you know, they have not been successful in those attempts yet, but you never know, maybe one day the, the office will let them come back and try. Um, but I thought that was a very funny, random story about the Ark of the Covenant being buried in Meath in Ireland. Um, and then the day after that, um, my aunt came to visit, which was super nice. Uh, she was here in Dublin for a work conference, and so she only had one free night, um, but was very gracious and invited me and Lucy to dinner at a very cool restaurant called The Winding Stair, which I'd been to the bookshop it's attached to before. It's a really cute bookstore. Um, sadly, the bookstore was closed when we went for dinner, but um, good dinner to great view of the city. Um, so it was really great to see her because I actually saw her last time I was in Dublin too, because she had a work conference then. So, you know, she's come to visit every time I've been here. Uh, it's been really nice. And um, a couple days after that, we had a work event in Kilkenny, which is a little further down south. It was all the interns from all the sites of my company um, getting together. And, and it was cool to like, just get to meet and mingle with people. Uh, and we saw a peacock in the backyard of the uh, hotel, which was incredibly random. I definitely don't think of peacocks as being Irish, but it was just like roaming around outside. So that was fun. Um, and then uh, you got exciting news that we got a rental car through work. Um, so now Lisa and I are driving ourselves to work instead of taking a taxi because like, the, there's not really a good way to get to work from where we are without driving. Um, so it was definitely nerve wracking the first couple of times we drove, just getting used to being on the left hand side. 
but um, now it feels decently natural. I obviously still not 100%. I do have to concentrate a lot more than I ever would like in the US, but um, getting more used to it and, you know, no accidents or anything so far, knock on wood. Um, but now I'm worried that it'll feel weird when I go back to driving on the right side. I, I'm not sure that'll uh, go great. Now I'll have an adjustment period there too. But it's really nice to have just like the freedom of a car, even though we have no plans to ever drive it into like Dublin city center or anywhere tricky like that. Um, we're fine sticking on like uh, regional roads. But um, the other exciting thing that happened the day we got the rental car was my friend Grace flew in. Um, may remember Grace from my previous round of videos when I was at UCD. She um, was like one of my uh, flatmates and uh, was also an American exchange student from Massachusetts. And um, she's, like she's one of my best friends ever, she's the best. And uh, so she came to visit this time that I'm here. And uh, that was just super, super exciting to see her. Um, and so Friday, her second day here, we went into the city for Bloomsday, which is the day that uh, in James Joyce's novel, he, um, like the whole book, it takes place on that one day. And so um, it's kind of celebrated as like James Joyce Day. Um, and so there were like lots of events throughout the day that Grace got to go to because she's an English major. Um, and then, so I just joined after work, we went to this cocktail garden party at the Museum of Literature, which was really cool. They had like some very cool exhibits set up, but then it was also just like a fun party with, you know, food and drinks and stuff. Um, so that was really fun and definitely not something I would have like thought to do on my own, but you know, Grace is on the Museum of Literature's mailing list. So that's why, why you have English major friends for that kind of thing. Um, take a break from engineering. Um, and then very early the next day, we went and got on a train to Kerry, which is a county in like the southwest of Ireland. Um, and it is absolutely stunning. Obviously, I haven't been to all the counties in Ireland, but of the ones I have been to, I think Kerry is definitely the prettiest. Um, it's just so beautiful with all these mountains and beautiful coastline and so so yeah, so we took the train down to Tralee and um, we're in that town for a few hours just looking at, there's like a museum of Cary and while we we're there, there happened to be a festival going on, which was fun. And they have some beautiful roses there because there's a pageant held there every year called the Rose of Tralee. Um, so beautiful roses. There's also a park named after Neil Armstrong, which I thought was very funny um, just because he visited Tralee one time. Uh, it felt like, you know, wherever I go, Purdue's always following me. Um, but that was funny. So Tralee was very um, cute, but uh, what we found out was that immediately after we left Tralee, because we went and got on a bus to go to Dingle, um, which is considered like one of the cutest towns in Ireland, and it definitely was. But immediately after we left Tralee, it started downpouring rain. Um, and obviously Ireland is used to rain, but to an insane extent where they had to evacuate like shopping centers, like a Penny's, um, the roof of a Dunn's, which is like a kind of department store collapsed. Um, two lifeguards got struck by lightning, um, on the beach. It was just absolute mayhem and truly, and somehow we completely escaped it. Like we went to Dinga where it was not raining at all. It was perfectly sunny the rest of the day. Um, and then when we went back to Tralee the next day to get our train back, um, it started raining again, but right as we got on the train and left. So we completely avoided all of the like apocalyptic rain that was happening um, in Tralee. It was insane. Um, so yeah, very glad to avoid it. We got to Dingle and it was absolutely stunning. Um, like not a drop of rain at all, super sunny. Um, we did a fun boat tour that like went out um, into the bay and it was just absolutely beautiful. Like Dingle is definitely a, a touristy spot because it's so um, hyped up in articles online and things like that, but it really is stunning. Um, and, and an added bonus is that it's the birthplace of Murphy's, which is an ice cream store that we love here in Dublin. It's fantastic. And so we got to go and get the original from the original Murphy's Test Kitchen, which was fantastic. Big ice cream uh, fans. So that was great. 
Um, and then we went and spent the night at a hotel in Ballyferreter. And really, uh, so Grace was fantastic and planned like all of this. She did a great job. But um, she really just picked that hotel pretty randomly because um, there was only like one hostel with any space left in Dingle and didn't have great reviews. So she was like, okay, we'll just go to a town that you can get the bus to and from Dingle. And so we just picked Bally Ferreter because it had a, a decent seeming hotel and found out like as we're going to the hotel that I know the son of the owner of the hotel and that is going to be like his cousin um, checking us in. And it's just like Ireland is such a small country. It's insane that someone I know in Dublin, uh, their cousin is the one checking us into this hotel um, in a tiny town on the Dingle Peninsula. But um, but it was a very cute hotel. Um, uh, we went to the, that town has like a museum of West Kerry that we went to. So that was cool to see. Um, it had like slightly more um, of a coastal focus, which was cool. And it's just a very beautiful area to just walk around. Uh, and it's in the Gwaeltacht, which is like the Irish speaking region. So it was interesting hearing like just on the bus and in shops, like everyone speaking Irish. Because I took a semester of Irish when I was at UCD. And so I like, you know, I could get bits and pieces, but it's just crazy to hear it spoken so quickly um, and naturally. And it's a difficult language to learn, but it is pretty cool sounding. Um, and then, yeah, so the next day we just went back to Dingle and back to Tralee to get the uh, train out and just had a great time. We did this great hike in Dingle. Um, that was really, it was the legitimate path, like everyone was following it and it was the way you're supposed to go, but it took you like through cow pastures, like literally, you know, you could touch the cows if you wanted to. Um, no, no gates or anything, uh, like climbing over walls, just crazy things to, to get to the view from this lighthouse, but it was very, very pretty, very worth it. Um, yeah, so Kerry was absolutely beautiful. I would highly recommend. Um, I mean, it's a very well-known spot, like the Ring of Kerry is this whole like drive you can do. Uh, we decided we were not yet skilled enough driving in Ireland to take the rental car through Kerry because the roads are so windy and narrow, and I'm very glad we didn't risk that. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe now that we're a little more um, seasoned with that. But, um, and then the day after that, um, it was Monday, so I like, just had work, but in the evening we went to Castletown House in Kildare, which was just this very pretty estate, and went and had just like a picnic dinner there, um, which was nice because just taking advantage of the weather while it's been this fantastic. Um, and then two nights ago, so Tuesday night was Grace's last night. She had to leave on Wednesday because she's starting work um, soon, and so we went to the church, which is this restaurant that, you know, as the name would imply, like old converted church. Um, and it's just stunning, you know, beautiful stained glass, everything. Um, so that was really nice. And uh, it just, you know, obviously uh, sad that Grace was leaving, but we had absolutely the best week ever. Like it was so, so much fun. Um, and then Last night went to this place in Dublin called Token. It's uh, like a restaurant, but uh, arcade. And so that was a lot of fun. Uh, I honestly can't think of the last time I've been to an arcade and just played, you know, pinball and Space Invaders and Tetris and all these other things. So that was very fun. Um, we definitely go back and we kept being given uh, all these people's leftover tokens because there was a work event for some company there. And so all these people were leaving and were like giving us uh, all their stuff. So that was nice. Um, yeah, I feel like I've barely taken a breath this whole video. So I hope I haven't been just dumping on my stream of consciousness thoughts. But um, it's been a really great um, couple of weeks since the last video. I've just been like really busy. Work is going really well. We're getting assigned some very cool projects um that are really letting us like get to know the site very well and the project um and you know of course it's just like very rewarding that all of it is for like uh, a chemo drug um so yeah that's been my past couple of weeks they've been really fun really um hectic but great i think it seems like i mean especially now with the car Liz and I have a lot more autonomy where we go, um, so probably we'll stay pretty busy, but 
you know, that's, that's great. Uh, it's all been great so far. And I hope you guys are all doing well too. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there's anything in particular you think I should do while I'm in Ireland this time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.